Hello, this is LemonCitrusFree.com, and we're going to talk about pest prevention. Um, obviously, a lot of different insects and stuff will love your particular citrus tree, and they all love to get in there, and because it's sweet, it's nice, it produces fruit, and a lot of times that'll be a natural uh, tract for any kind, of, any kind of insect. So we want to prevent and provide a deal where we can protect your tree. One, one of those products is, and you can find this at most local garden centers, or a lot of times online, it's a product called uh, Tanglefoot. Tanglefoot's a very um, inexpensive item. It's very easy to use. And what it does, it sets up a barrier for your tree. A lot of times ants or aphids or different type of insects will get in your pot and they actually will attempt to climb your tree, get into the fruit. They get to the, the little sap the tree produces because it's sweet. And they want to milk it. They want to get that tree and it's used for them for food. So a good way of doing that is actually using, once again, a product called Tanglefoot. And it will provide a barrier to your tree. Another simple way of preventing insects, ants, and all that from climbing up and harvesting and, and uh, really disturbing your tree here is basically just a piece of tape. I've cut this, it's about, uh, about a half foot long. It's uh, very sticky on this side, the other side is not sticky. So the secret is wrapping the trunk of your tree with the sticky side on the outside. So when they try to climb up your tree, they'll get stuck on, stuck on the tape. You can also add Tanglefoot. It's a it's kind of a sticky material to the outside of here too. So once again, wrap your trunk. Make sure you don't wrap that first, your stake. You want to really wrap it fairly tight because you want them to actually climb and get stuck on the tape and not on your tree. So I've wrapped that right here. And I've actually created a barrier for your tree for any type of insects that will climb up here. And it could be anything from uh, ants that are harvesting or climb up your tree or spider mites or some of those other particular insects that love your tree but you don't want them on it. After you've placed the tape here, if you do have access to Tanglefoot, we do recommend that. A lot of times you can find this at the garden stores. And it's basically just a real sticky substance. And I'm, I'm going to place it along here, along the outside. And you kind of place it along the tape here as per the instructions on here, and that will trap any insects. You will, you've created a barrier, uh, very healthy for your tree, very healthy for your canopy. We're gonna discuss if you have found insects on a tree. A lot of times your tree will give you indication that it's, that it's having trouble. Uh, you could see experience like leaf drop, uh, you'll start seeing perhaps your leaves turn yellow, they're, they're just not very healthy at this point. And it's usually a good indicator that you potentially have got insects in your tree. Uh, some of the most common ones are like scales, spider mites. Spider mites happen uh, probably more so than anything else. Uh, they can be carried by uh, ants, uh, even the winds. You can open your door up, they can uh, just blow in. Uh, spider mites are pretty, uh, they're small, they're very hard to see with the naked eye. Uh, but some of those insects will give you a really good clear indication that you've got something. And one of those might be you'll see some webbing on your tree, you'll see uh, this white um, spongy type looking stuff that starts getting on your leaves. So if you see that, it's real important you act fast and you act quickly because it'll start taking over your tree and it'll put it in a situation that's poor health. And once it's gotten to a point of poor health, it'll start dropping a lot of leaves. And at that point, it'll, it, it takes a long time for it to recover. So it's really good. I, I would recommend when you fertilize, especially in the growing season, you might be fertilizing once a month, you're watering about uh, every seven to 10 days and kind of look around and, and when you're doing it, see if you've got uh, anything that looks kind of unhealthy on your tree because as soon as you can attack and handle it at the beginning, you're much better off. Once again, cleaning your tree is really critical. If you have found uh, the webbing, spider mites, or even something that's called kind of honeydew, it's a little bit of a sticky, sweet substance and that attracts insects and they'll come in there and they'll farm that and they'll milk it, they'll milk that deal, they actually will uh, plant scales on there because they, they just wanted the secretions of your tree uh, is, is a food for them. So if you do find a, any type of honeydew, once again, uh, I actually prefer uh, using alcohol. Once again, I've used this. And to really rub, and you're, it's going to take a little bit of effort sometimes. You may have to actually really work with it and clean that honeydew substance, clean that webbing uh, off that particular leaf and off that different location. That's going to be really important. Because if you have that res residue there, then once again, those insects will be, be attracted to it. 